it won't fall? Not sure, but just want to do a little quick video of this tree right here is a beauty. That is an American elm tree. I'm doing video here, Bev. That's an American elm tree, and they were prolific when I was getting into this business in the early 1980s. And all of them died, or not all, but a lot of them died. Most, almost all of them died from Dutch elm disease. There's hardly any left. So and you can see... One of the few? One of the few. So I think they're both American elm there. But if you look up here, can you see like that little bit of dead branch right there? And this one over here, there's a little dead up in here. Now, that may just be from the last storm. Let's hope that's what it was. A couple of branches broke in the last storm. Oh, I see it. I yeah, see it. There's one on the end there, it. too. Yeah. This guy here. I see it. Up in there. But but a lot of times when the Dutch elm disease starts, that's what it looks like. With one little dead branch here and there up in the canopy, that could be Dutch elm disease. Now, like I said, maybe they broke in a storm, but that could just be the very beginnings of Dutch elm, in which case the tree's probably a goner. Then you also have to be careful of is if you're trying to prune an elm tree, I never do it except in the dead of winter because that will attract the insects, which then take the fungus right. that kills the tree. So we're going we're gonna to just say a prayer and hope this thing holds in there for a little bit longer. Okay. It's a good, good, good tree, and it's not threatening anything. It's and elm not is, threatening. And elm is a nice and tough tree anyhow, so even if it dies, it's not going anywhere. All right, there it is, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments.